with the rapid collapse of the U.S.-backed Afghanistan government last week and the return to Taliban rule. An IU scholar says he's concerned for the future of his homeland. Holden Abshur has this report. Nazif Shirani is an anthropology professor at Indiana University who was born and raised in Afghanistan. He says more than 60 percent of the Afghan population is younger than 25 years old and does not remember the Taliban rule from 1996 to 2001. These uh, young people are extremely fearful, especially women uh, and young girls who have had education, who have had some um, skills and liberties and enjoying a lot of those, and they think that they're going to be lost. The U.S. and other countries are scrambling to evacuate their own citizens and thousands of Afghans who allied with them in the 20-year war against the Taliban. Shirani worries that mass evacuations will contribute to national brain drain. They're doing uh, maybe favors to individuals who, who find themselves desperate, but they're also robbing a country, essentially the possibility of having um, you know, uh, reconstruction of their own, their own countries and becoming self-sufficient. The U.S. has faced criticism for what became a chaotic exodus after the collapse of the Afghan government. IU Vice President for Engagement Kirk White has been in the Indiana National Guard for 30 years and twice deployed to Afghanistan. Their lives are in peril, and we owe them more than that. And it's uh, a very sad commentary that, uh, that, that the United States government did not have a, a well-executed plan to get uh, these Afghan allies out of the country uh, before, uh, before the government fell. Shirani says other nations can help by refusing to acknowledge the Taliban government unless it abides by human rights and is inclusive of the new generation of Afghan youth. No government in Afghanistan can survive for any length of time without international assistance. Um, and that's something that Taliban understand. Still, Shirani says it will take almost 20 years for the new government, whether it is Taliban-led or not, to retrain another generation. And Afghanistan has been the victim of this for 43 years now, um, that um, other people have come and fought their wars in, in the backyard of the Afghans and destroyed their country uh, in more ways than one. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Holden Absher.